Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Con of Cons. So, as I'm... well, I know you've all been telling me over many, many last couple episodes that... Oof. Oof. A little, little laggy on startup. Um, if I form the Mongolian Khanate, I'll get the Mongol Empire for free. I'm well aware of this, but everyone seems to be overlooking the whole succession issue. So, I have finally decided to go do some little off-camera testing, and I found out that if I have Ultima Genetir and form the King Khanate of Mongolia, it will have Ultima Genetir, and also the Empire of Mong or the Mongol Empire, I should say, will also have Ultima Genetir, if I switched Ultima Genetir here. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I was waiting to see if, you know, I'm, I was worried it might come out gable kind and I'd have to wait another ten years, which is why I was kind of waiting for my con to die, because it's kind of hard to tell when they're going to live to be 110, when they're going to die at 30. Um, or anywhere in between, for that matter. So, I've been just kind of, you know, pussyfooting around a bit, but it turns out if I switched Ultima Genetir, then I can just go ahead and form the Kingdom of Mongolia. Also, you cannot destroy your primary title. Well, I'll make that one my primary title. Eh, 400 prestige, whatever. Doesn't actually piss anybody off. Because no one's a deserve vassal of it. Now... In a couple days, or just one. Oh god, right, global events are going to be laggy as shit. I should point this out now. Because remember, a global event is sent to everybody. Oof. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> e even to me. Everyone remembers this very familiar event. Vague rumors of an all-conquering menace have reached us from the far east. It seems that a great Khan has united all the tribes of the vast steppes, leading millions of fierce horse warriors against the great cities of Carthay. In time, this new Khagan could pose a threat to the civilized world. Fine tale. You know, where the hell is Carthay on this map? Car... Well, we've got Carthage. Yeah, that's great. That's not really helping. Uh, I actually have no idea where Carthay would be. I'd be thinking it'd be in somewhere, like, in Kimmich, I guess. Um, like, if I had to guess, it would be, like, somewhere around here. But, you know, you just don't see it. So I, I can't say for certain where Carthay is. It was a big city, big trading post out here, before the Mongols came and kind of conquered it. But, enough of that. Um... Wait, what the, what the hell was I going to do? Something, something. Oh, yeah. Also, I did notice this. The, the succession here is a little weird. Um, where the Khanate of Mongolia will go to my youngest son, whereas the Empire will go to my eldest. I have no idea why this occurs, and I'm just it, it's not actually going to change, which is a problem. Hold the nerves, huh? Okay, what does this cost me? Sure. Invitations for a great hunt. Let's do it. But I'm just going to leave it on. Uh, let the hunt commence. Sorry. Hmm. Wow. That's actually a genius uh, concept for a hunt if you have enough people. And then the northern horse was suddenly startled by a fox bolting from a tiny place. Oh well, he became wounded. I thought for a second it was me. Fell the buck with his bow. This is unacceptable. Per ancient tradition, no animals may be killed during the nerge before the encirclement has been completed. A harsh punishment. A reprimand will be enough. Yep, yeah, punish him. He must be punished. More game for the rest of us. Jeez. How long does it take to encircle it? Alright. Low priority message. Hey, wait, wasn't I supposed to get somebody? Ooh, a horde of frantic animals has been corralled into a clearing, and they are now completely surrounded by your forces. As the Kagan 
you and your closest retinue will begin the first opportunity to engage in the killing sport. Only after you are finished will your vassals be allowed to hunt. Hand me my bow! As per tradition, some of your older soldiers have come before you to plead for the life of those few animals that remain in the encircled clearing. Their release as a display of the Kagan's mercy usually signals the end of the Nurge and the beginning of the nine days of feasting. Yeah, as, as is tradition then. Yeah, it, we're not going against tradition here. <laughs> we are a very traditional Khaganate. Or Khaganate. Yeah, so I have no idea why the succession laws are different. I've been laying time run to show that it's not going to change, like when the successions recalculate every month. It won't change until I destroy the Khaganate of Mongolia. Um, now, if you'll notice in a few days, there we go. Boom, there we go. Oh, jeez. Let us drink and be merry. Good timing to get f plus 15 relations, because I just lost 50 with everyone. Really? I should have lost 50 with everyone. Yeah, there we go. Destroyed leash title. Upset by succession law change. Oh, well. I guess they weren't part of, uh, something. Has inherited chief in the NSI. Ooh, is that so? From the direction of the itself with the delicacy of the table, suddenly his face turns strangely to green as he rushes towards the exit. Only make far as the chief manga. Uh, stupid gluttonous fools. Now, what the hell did I inherit? This. Okay. Um. You know, now that I'm an empire, and, you know, he's new, he doesn't have any negative traits of me, or any particular reason to not like me. Congratulations, sir. Oh god, he's ambitious. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I will find somebody else. There has to be, there is somebody in my court that I should have gotten. I don't know, Borthagal. Yeah, this guy. Oh, damn, he's good. Where's one of my daughters? Who's also conveniently quick. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to have to do this in my own court, I think. Um, just go to diplomacy. And a betrothal from my daughter to who has the highest marshal. Yes. Yes. It shall be done. And then I shall grant a landed title unto this man, the High Chiefdom of Tuba. And all lower titles. So as such, he has a single province, and in addition... Well, let's see, what does he got? Aggressive leader? Eh. Yeah, he won't be my marshal. I, well, that's, it's always tough to decide. Yeah, we'll make him the marshal as well, just to make sure. Very good, very good. A uh, vassal inheritance warning. With the feasting over, the remaining spoils of the hunter divided evenly between all the forces that participated. As everyone departs, you survey the surrounding land. It will be some time before the wildlife in this region recovers from the slaughter, but when this happens, the, 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 when this when that happens, the time will be ripe for another great hunt. Yay! For the next two years. Okay, cool. Now would be a good time to move into Kimek. We've held our nerge, and people are pleased. Gather the armies. Wow, that was a rather limited section of armies that I picked up. <laughs> so, there are some problems with zooming in this mod. If you're not zoomed out, or rather in, far enough, then you may be unable to select units and things, because for obvious reasons, the zoom level has been... Uh, the zoom, the highest level you can zoom out to has been greatly extended. <laughs> really? Oh, wait, you're, you're just trying to kill your random brother, aren't you? Yeah. I have no idea why he's hated. Anyway. Who are, am I going to read? Eh, the Princess of Norway looks good. Yeah, sure. 
She's quick, I like that. She's charitable. She, she's she got 11, uh, you know, diplomacy already. That's only good. Yes. And now my son is six years old. As such is tradition, he shall be educated by me. He won't be granted a claim, will he? No, I've got more male sons. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You know what? Uh, I'll arrange it after the conquest of Kimek. He shall be granted something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure something out, I'm sure. Could even give him the rest of Gobi, probably. Yeah, you know what? Well, I don't have enough money. Not really that surprising, I suppose. To just create a whole bunch of titles and stuff. Okay. Well, either way, it's going to be a long while before our armies actually assemble. The whole steps thing. So I did make one other change, which I will discuss now that there's a bit of downtime. And we're not going on a gigantic nurge and everyone getting their ass wounded. It should be riding grounds, right? Yeah. I've changed riding grounds to have a massive light infantry and heavy infantry penalty. Uh, one that you'll notice is consistent with the amount of levies that is given here. Uh, the reason for this is because, well, this is done specifically for my culture group. It makes jack crap all sense for us to be getting light and heavy infantry out of our castles, especially in the numbers that we do. Um, yeah, like, if I just grabbed a, the sample of my army here, like, look at this, this is ridiculous, this is not a Mongolian horde. This is an insult, at best. Hmm, yes, um, let's put me front and center. Uh, and we will put you on the flanks. Yes, I like this. This this will do well. I have lots of good warriors out here. Anyway, the first thing we have to do is stop the uh, Bulgars. They've decided that they want to invade Kimek as well, and of course we simply can't allow that. This land shall be ours, so we have to push them out. I have no idea what they're trying to take with their Casas Billy anyway. Uh, it's invasion of Kimak, so they're going for the whole thing. Alright. I wasn't sure if they were just going for, like, one province or something. But yes, I agree, though. They, uh, these traitors who turned to Islam must be beaten! Beaten harder than that guy I beat for, uh, killing something early. Yeah, we got number them two to one here. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, our generals... They're too OP. Okay. Well, we're just going to have them all head for Omsk, I suppose. Yeah, there you go. And we'll gather our men. Still, yeah, I should give my son a... Uh... Oh yeah, right, I wanted to, but then I remember I don't have any friggin' money to create a duchy. So we'll just have to give him Dragob. Dorno Gobi. And yes, thank you everyone for pointing out that this is the historical capital of the Mongol Empire. <laughs> That's probably why it has all of these slots. I didn't really consider it at the time, but it makes enough sense now. Alright. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to gather enough stuff to defend themselves from the Bulgar. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to unsiege these two as well, in addition. Because I'm not certain how uh, the invasion CB will handle it if it's occupied by somebody else. I honestly can say I haven't tried. I mean, I know Holy Wars react weirdly, so it's tricky to say. Prestige penalty for landless sons. Oh well. I'll have to consider it. Alright, just assault this stuff. It'll be an easy take. Perfect. 
Alright, this is already going well. We're still gonna need to occupy all of it, though. This is all tainted. Oh no, wait, actually, some of it isn't even tainted. Actually, a lot of it isn't. I was expecting him to have forced all his vassals into, a uh, Muslim edge by now. Hmm. I don't think this rap won't cure. Who are you being tutored by? Hmm, not bad. That's a very good set of traits. Wish you didn't get the deceitful, but oh well. Not much I can particularly control about that. <laughs> Alright, this should be a quick one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Man, that's a long siege that cost us a lot of men. We're gonna let them do that whilst I head up here, kill them. And then we'll come back down and pick up where these guys uh, have left off. It's probably the fastest way of doing things. I wouldn't be surprised to find out I'm going to have to occupy everything anyway. Just get the war score up high enough at this rate. Let's see, yeah, we might be able to get another 30% out of the counties. I don't know how much we're going to get out of the, uh, out of everything, though. We'll have to see. Ooh, open council position. New steward. Duad, collect me some taxation. Alright. So some of the stuff I'm actually going to have to build in order to get these awesome new uh, riding grounds that actually make sense for us now is Castle Walls level 2. And that's actually kind of a problem because I think we need... Yeah, we need improved keeps too before we can even consider that. So, where do you just keep getting so many men? Well, let's start by putting a little into that. How much do we need now? 203. Not ideal. Wait, wait, why, wait, 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 why do I have no general here? I should be leading the center. There we go. Let's try that again. And, alright, Diviner's dead. Not that it matters. I don't have any uh, non-religious provinces right now. I may after this. Is that part of Quebec? No, it's not. Okay. Religions. Yeah, he hasn't converted any provinces yet, so... I won't need the Diviner yet. Really, I have no use for him, which kind of feels weird, just not having a use for him. Slaughter them. For God's sakes. Shouldn't take so long. There we go. Off to the dungeons. Alright, and we'll prob they'll probably either... Not surprising. My uh, elder son has been plotting that for a while. Oh well, not much I can do. Sadly, it's not one less person with claims either, because I just have too many children. <laughs> I've really got to fix some of that stuff. Yeah, there you go. Charitable, perfect. Yeah, doesn't matter that he actually got the siege off. That is, in effect, irrelevant. Because we can just take it back real quick and easy. War knowledge. I am proud of him. Good, good on him for being just. There. And now we just need to take one last province. Which I'm sure is near... The point of surrender. Ooh, wow, we killed the High Chief himself. Whew, not bad. Good riddance to him. Haha, -ha, sucker. Alright, this is the final one. So, we're just going to, uh, siege it up. Oof, alright. Kimek is ours. I'll be enforcing my demands now. Okay, so, sons are definitely going to need some landing, I think. Or something. Yeah, whatever. Let's get rid of the damn armies. First priority is handing out all these damned settlements and everything. Uh, Omsk was one of our holy sites, wasn't it? Yes, perfect. Good, now we just need Kaiser Lorda. Which is conveniently right here. Yes, it is. Couldn't have asked for anything better, could I? <laughs> yeah, this this would be an easy, easy invade. 
What? Cool men and sunny. Um. Crown authority in the Mongol Empire allows revocation. I'm fairly certain it allows revocation. Oh, must have a special revoke reason if we have... What? I... Did I miss that province or something? Like, I'm fairly certain I should have... Oh, uh, well, whatever. Yeah, he's got way too many children. I'll have to figure something to do with them. Okay, let's see. You're the best diviner in the realm. Get to work. Or, execute in prison something. How How's my relations doing with everyone? Lowest opinion. Yeah, we got a couple of people who don't like it. Well, they can shove it. Well, I should use the marshal. Um, perfect, I suppose. Banish imprisoned and confiscate all his titles. Perfect. So that probably pissed a hell of a lot of people off. Yeah, no kidding. Oof. But we got the title back. Eh, Kumintangri. Alright, that's close enough. For Baron, at least. <clears throat> now, for my remaining living children, I suppose, I will grant... Balkash. Sure. And... Oral Omsk. Yeah, we already gave out the stuff. Omsk is a holy site. As such, it shall be granted to you. What's your duchy, anyway? Kimek. Edit religion. Or no, just your duchies. God damn it, that's a huge ass duchy. Oh well, I would give you the duchy, but no. <laughs> just no. Um, you as a baron, can it be granted? Uh, Imakia. And we'll give off this stuff here. Okay. I guess that's fine. The succession just has to update. <laughs> anyway. Temple of Yabin. Ah, here we go. Alright, so I suppose I can grant stuff to my otherwise needy sons. Mansia. Perfect. All in different duchies. That's what I like. Okay, so yeah, you'll get Kimak, you'll get Tayuman eventually anyway. Perfect. That's what I like. Nice and clean. And Castle Wall's almost done. Perfect. But a lot of people are pretty pissed at me right now. Uh, how to deal with that's another thing, though. Who's in my court? And is usable. Yeah, you'll, you'll be alright, I suppose. No, I wanted a landed title. Or all. And... You're ambitious, but whatever. Ah, uh, 7 out of 7 will work, alright. <laughs> so... Yes, how long till this is done? Excellent. We still will require castle walls too, I'm afraid. At least we can get some things like step riding grounds. In the meantime... How long till improved keeps? Still a head penalty, though. It's working, though. Uh, 1.8% per year. We'll at least get 10% of it soon. Alright. Uglenar. Yeah. Gonna have to build more castles here or something. Or temple and city, and then more castles. <laughs> uh, whatever, I'm not spending all my money on a friggin' city. Just build a step riding grounds in the meantime. Alright, so we're up to 3,600. Perfect. I think next up on the agenda is gonna be these three. Just flat out invade all of them. Yeah, I could probably invade all three at once. 
even better if I can get these damned retinues working. But, eh. Well, I could just do it, but I don't think it'd be enough. And yeah, what the hell went on? I just don't think 1,500 soldiers is enough. We'll see. Okay. Um, hmm. Yes. I'm really just debating what to invade. I want to wait for the Jurchians to, like, finish taking over Korea. Like, well, once they're done taking over Korea and stuff, I feel like that's the time to strike. And invade and take over them. Yes. People are often also asking me what I'm going to invade first, Europe or China. And that's a good damn question. I'm probably going to go with Europe. I mean, ooh, that's in Italy. Now it all it needs is... <laughs> I don't know, maybe the Carlings will form something. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to work towards Europe for now, because I want to be able to reform the religion. Which we will need Kaiser Lorda for. Yeah, it's really the only thing stopping me. Actually, yeah, we can... We can do that real quick, I think. Screw it, just invade everything. <laughs> Raise everything. Let's go. Yeah, first things first, Kaiserlorda. Kaiserlorda is priority one. Oh. Oh, they're a revolting vassal. Is that so? I did not even realize that. Come on. For once, he finally answers his obligation. For God's sakes, you basically border these... The Jurchen Pagan Reformed. Well, yeah, they are still barbarians. Congratulations on your reformation. I suppose. Man, that's ugly. I need to re remove that from the map maybe sooner than I originally thought. Oh, well, let's just try and not look over there. They have, like, five holy sites here. Like, the, these guys have their own religion. And, I kid you not, it's all just holy sites. These entire islands. <laughs> it's, that's kind of ridiculous. Just, just kind of. Anyway, we're s still going to be a long wait just to get our troops anywhere. Which is why retinues need to become bigger. I really need bigger retinues. Oh, is that so? Well, things just got interesting. I can probably, yeah, those guys can go over there. 4,000 men. That's probably enough. Well, things just got interesting, and I think we're going to have to leave with a cliffhanger here. This episode is dragging on way too long already. So thank you everyone for watching. Now we have finally the Mongol Empire. We've conquered the Kimek, and it appears that we now have to repel an invasion. After that, I think I may have to, uh, put this f***er where he damn well deserves to be, if you know what I mean. And by that I mean no land. So, but that'll be next time on our grandiose conquests. I wonder, can I hire any mercs out here? Just, I'm, I'm kind of worried, in the back of my head. That, you know. Oh yeah, I got tons. Oof. Alright, so thank you everyone for watching. As always, this is Calvin, your Grand Con of Cons, signing off.